Hey, welcome to my YouTube page, Sean Linton, the YouTube page, God is Good. We want to talk about today, just very briefly, it's not going to be a long um, shoot. I've been talking about really the true meaning of Christmas. I really want to um, thank God for giving us this privilege that we are here. When I said here, I mean in the land of the living. That when we are in the land of the living, to show forth um, the presence of God, to thank God that, hey, we are alive, we are here, we are kicking, we are, we are ready to start a new, you know what I mean, a new life. Now, the true meaning of Christmas, what is Christmas? The reason why it was invented. Now, when you study, you're going to hear about um, St. Nicholas, you're going to hear about Santa Claus, you're going to hear about the Catholics, you're going to hear about paganism, you're going to hear about now, According to theologian and depending on your um, school of thoughts and where you study from, you're going to hear it's going to be kind of difficult to, to believe that Jesus was actually born on uh, Christmas Day. You know, that in December the, 20, the 25th December of this year, it's going to be kind of challenging for you to say, well, um... I believe that he was born on the 25th. I believe that because of the um, climate, astrologers and different um, weather people said it was kind of, it was cold, it was difficult. Men was not, that's not the point. The point is, is that we have, uh, the world have uh, selected, uh, you, you know, a day then. It goes back to another side of history that they said, well, according to the Roman calendar, what calendar are you going from? Because with a Roman calendar, we've got two extra months that Julius season that they decide to put um to, to change the course. You, you know, it was July to commemorate Julius Caesar and August to commemorate Augustus Caesar. You you know, so it should be ten, but they had two more to change it, 10, 11, 12. That's why we got twelve. Now I believe that we can go on and find different um different aspects to history and different aspect to um to century to celebrate and to um and to commemorate you know if you look if you travel throughout london you're going to see a part of um the the satanic if, if you call it so-called um roman different sort of um tradition and different so um but we live it every day we live it every day so what we are saying that the december the 25th was selected right it is a month december the last month of the year the 25th was selected to be christmas now the reason why it was selected it is for that is a key point the reason the fundamental reason it was selected it was selected because Christ, it is said that Christ was born on Christmas Day. Christ, Jesus Christ. The Bible said, John 3, St. John 3, 16 said, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, Jesus have died Jesus came as a gift from God the Father into the world to give the world life. Light. The life is the light to the world. So the light of the world, Jesus Christ, is the 25th, the gift of God to show forth the love of God, the appreciation of God, the gift of God to us. So because he was selected on the 25th, the 25th, he was selected. He was selected. He was birthed. He was given that life force, that beam of hope, aspiration. We are to remember that the reason that he was selected is 25th. The gift, the trees, the turkeys, as you can see, I've got no decoration here. Now, I'm not saying it's wrong, and I'm not saying to have your families wrong, but what we're trying to say, the true meaning of Christmas, 
is to take in consideration the the political war and issues it is to place Christmas. You know, not Xmas, but Christmas. All the social issues. All the different sort of arguments and should we have Christmas? Why are we having Christmas? We don't need Christmas. Maybe that, that. Why are we coming? Who is Jesus? Why is that? All of that for years to come. So we understand that the little issue to talk about, you, you know, Christmas is this, is it's shop, is not important, is not relevant comparing to the fact that we almost didn't have it. You know, somebody would say, well, if we never had it, what difference would it make? Well, we have got it. And what we are trying to say is that parents, don't stress yourself getting 3,000, 2,000, all these expensive gifts. Fathers, don't push yourself over the cliff. Don't drive your car on London Bridge. Over London Bridge, I should say, you know. When I was in London, you could time it. You know, I'm from London, and when I was living there, every December, somebody, especially a father, would chuck himself on the rail. You know, to keep up to the with the Jones, Joneses. You know, we've got to remember that simple is good. Live within your means. If you can't afford it, it's all right. If you can't, it's fine. Don't stress yourself. Don't over, go overboard. Remember that if you can get something in your tins, that's all right. Whatsoever you can buy, you buy that. If you can't, if you don't get any decoration, that's fine. If you don't have a tree, that's all right. If you can't buy anything more than discounted stuff, then that's fine. If you can't buy anything more than economy stuff, then that's fine. If you cannot give gifts, that's fine. It is about giving of love and appreciation to acknowledge the fact that I'm here and I acknowledge my loved ones, my kids, my parents, my grandparents, my neighbors, you know, people in my surrounding, my family, just to be able to know that I'm alive. I'm alive, I'm here, and I'm here for a reason. What's the reason? The reason is to shine some light, to give somebody some hope. Sing your song, I love Christmas Carol, whether it is December or November or April, it doesn't matter. It don't matter. What we are trying to say, the true meaning of Christmas, is that to show off? I can have a bigger car. I've got more gifts. I've got a bigger tree. I've got this stuff. You do some. No. The meaning of Christmas is to remember that Christ, Jesus, came and died you know, 2,000 years ago, giving us hope and light. And we've got hope in Him. And our job is to spread that love, shine some light, give some hope. You know what I mean? Less selfishness, less hateness, less bitterness, less sort of anguish, <laughs> pain, but to be free, to know that you are delivered, to know that you have the ability to shine forth. Remember, Christmas, you, you, you see I was planning to even play some Christmas carol behind, behind here, but I decided not, not to. Just to remind somebody that Christmas is not about being selfish, it's not about being self-centered, or to have your thought in me, myself, but it's about acknowledging God's spreading some love and I would say Merry Christmas to the world God bless you I pray for you all I don't care 
what you are, who you are, where you are, how you are. I just pray for you all. Let the light be on you this Christmas. Love you.